Yes, it's that time of year. Mid-January, it's time for the Burns Dinner here in Port Alberni. And of course, I am here with Patty McKenzie from the McKenzie School of Dance. Patty, this is a big deal. Oh, it's a really big deal for the Highland Dancers. It's our one big fundraiser of the season. Okay, but it's more than a fundraiser because I know from your background, this is a celebration. This is a celebration of the life of Robert Burns, the Scottish poet. And so Scots all around the world will be celebrating his birthday around this time. And the girls, of course, are practicing. What kind of performances will they be giving during this event? Uh, there will be some traditional dances, and then we always, for our burn supper, we have some choreographed uh, dances that are special for this event. Is it only parents of dancers that come out to this, parents and grandparents? No, in fact, they're in the minority, usually. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of people in the community come out to celebrate Robert Burns. It is exciting, and actually, that was kind of a loaded question. I've gone out, I never had a child in dance, but I've always enjoyed it, and a big part of it is the music. The Who supplies the music? Well, the music, for the most part, is from the West Coast Highlanders Pipe Band, and that would be my husband, <laughs> who is the uh, pipe major of the band. And it is always such a huge part of it. Can you imagine a Burns event without the pipe band? I can't. Now, there is always one dancer who's chosen with a special honor. Is she behind us? She is, yes. Okay, um, give her a call. Callie, Callie, come over. Callie was chosen as the uh, 2016 Dancer of the Year, and wh whichever dancer receives that honor gets the chance to carry the haggis in at the Robbie Burns Supper. Holy cow, Callie, you get to carry the haggis. How do you practice for that? Um, I think we just run it and we, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really. Is this a big honor for you? Yes, it, it is. How come? I, I just think it's really, I, I feel proud of myself. It's an honor to be Dancer of the Year because I've worked my, for a long, long time dancing. And, yeah. Now, you, you talk about having worked hard and what an honor it is to be Dancer of the Year. Why do you love Highland Dance? Um, I don't know. It's like I was born with this heart of the love of dance. Oh my <laughs> gosh, Kelly. <laughs> Did she tell you to say that? No. <laughs> born with the heart of the love of Scottish dance. Patty, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, she tears. I know, tears <laughs> in her eyes. When is the Burns Dinner coming up? When can people see this lovely young lady dance? On Saturday, January 28th. Uh, starting at uh, 6 o'clock. I think the, the doors open at 5, and we're in a new location at Echo Centre, which will be a, a fabulous facility for us this year. And I'm pretty sure that people need to buy their tickets ahead of time. They do. They need to buy their tickets ahead. They're available at Alter Ego and Roland Arts Centre. I think they're at Echo Centre as well. Um, and on the ticket, there's a telephone number to call and book your table because it's all reserved seating. All reserved seating, book your table because you want to be sitting with your group of friends. You want to make sure you're close to the Haggis delivery system here. <laughs> it's a great night, wonderful door prizes all night, great fundraiser. Who should come out? Everybody should come out <laughs> and we'll have the Scottish country dancers there. One of our dancers is a harpist and she will be playing the Celtic harp. Uh, some of our dancers are singing um, Old Lang Syne. So there's a lot to be to see and hear and do, yeah. Just a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for telling us about it, ladies. Callie, you go ahead and get back to your practicing. Patty, I know you've got a lot of planning to do this for, to, for this event. January 28th, the annual Burn Supper. You don't want to miss it. And just to put you in the mood, we're going to go out with a little bit of that fabulous pipe music from the West Coast Highlanders. <laughs>